Welcome to Double Under Wonder, sponsored by Boulder Band. Hello and welcome to Double Under Wonder. My name's Ian and I'm the host of this show. Um, I thought for this first episode, we'd just talk a little bit about A, what a double under even is, and um, B, show you how to do them correctly. We're gonna be posting a bunch of quick workouts that you can do anywhere, um, and, and most of them are gonna have double unders in them. So I thought we'd just talk to you a little bit about how to do an efficient double under, some faults to look for, and um, just show you what we're even talking about. All right, so first things first, let's get our jump rope sized properly. So the first thing you're gonna do is step on your jump rope with one foot and pull it tight. If you're a beginner, you're gonna have it up next to your armpits. If you're slightly more advanced, you're going to have that jump rope down close to the bottom of your breastbone. Also, another thing to think about when you're first sizing your jump rope and adjusting these ends with these uh, set screws, you don't wanna to cut too much off. So make sure you leave a couple inches to spare while you're fine tuning things, and then you can cut that off, all that excess stuff after you've really dialed in your jump rope. The next thing you're gonna do is just start practicing a really efficient single under. Just a straight up and down, easy jump, hands slightly in front of the body, not a lot of arm movement, just practice keeping all that motion in your wrist, and keeping those elbows in nice and tight and a nice easy single under jump. After you've mastered the single under, it's time to start working on your double unders. And essentially it should look the same. Maybe a slightly higher jump, still elbows in nice and tight, not a lot of arm movement, an up and down jump, and it should look very similar to that single under you've been practicing, only you're going to move your wrists faster to whip that rope under your feet twice every time you jump once. Here's another example of a nice efficient double under. You can see that Tara is jumping straight up and down. She's not getting a lot of arm movement. Her hands are slightly in front of her body, not getting a really high inefficient jump, keeping pretty close to the floor, doing a really nice job. But now we're gonna pick on Tara a little bit and show you what she used to do before she had an efficient double under. She used to be a big fan of piking and we'll see that that's not very efficient. So we see here that she's getting a much higher jump. She's wasting a lot of energy. You can imagine that she's burning her abs out like crazy. And she's gonna get really gassed really fast doing this type of double under. So we're very glad she made the switch to a more efficient double under. Way to go, Tara. And now we'll pick on me a little bit. My tendency is always to get an excessive knee bend and an extra high jump, especially if I'm getting tired or if I'm nervous that I'm going to miss a double under that I really wanna hit. So um, keep that in mind. This is another common fault. If you're doing this, try to minimize that knee bend and try to keep that jump just a straight up and down jump that looks very similar to your efficient single under. Another common fault is excessive arm movement. And you'll see here that it's really hard to string double unders together if your arms are flailing all over the place and your jump rope isn't always in the same spot. So keep those elbows in nice and tight and move your wrists to move your rope, not your arms. So to recap, let's look at Tara's double under again. She's getting a nice up and down jump. She's not overly piked. She's not bending her knees. She's not jumping too high. She's keeping her elbows in nice and tight. She's generating the movement from her wrists and she is nailing her double unders and you will too very soon if you're not already. All right, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully that gave you a few tips to get started doing double unders with us. If you need a jump rope, you can get one at doubleunderwonder.com. If you would like a boulder band, they're the sponsor of this show, um, and you saw Tara wearing one earlier, you can get a boulder band at beboulder.com. Um, they sponsor this show and they're awesome. So go check out their website. Also, don't forget to rate us and review us in iTunes. And we look forward to working out with you over the next few weeks. Whew. <laughs>